Hey YouTube, so this is my battery replacement video on the Dell XPS 13 9370. Let's get right to it. First thing we're going to need is our tools. I like the Mastercraft phone repair kit because it's got all the different sizes. So this is a T5 torque, the micro screw, and let's just speed things up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to use our pry tool. I like the cornered one just because it can usually get in between the bottom panel and the shell of the computer. Now you're going to look for a snap, yeah, I just got the first one right there. Now there's uh, clips running alongside the entire computer, but mostly on the sides are the ones that you really want to dislodge and just work your way around the computer. Be very, very easy and very careful with it because it's a aluminum shell and you don't definitely don't want to bend it or break any of the clips so just take your time be easy with it as you can see I just snapped the backs very easy in one go and now the side it's kind of hard to see but I just got the one on the right side and then we got the case off got the cover off a little bit dusty got some micro particles can see some particles on the battery just give it a quick uh, light light run over with the uh, stock bristle attachment for the vacuum you always want to be very light when using bristle attachments so now we're just going to grab our uh, pick tool pry tool and uh, first thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the battery so you'll see on each side there's um, like two little like uh, black rivets that can be used to disconnect the battery. Okay, we got it disconnected. Now um, it's a 50 millimeter for the middle screw here, which is a very, very tiny screw. Battery out. I think I might have missed that part in the video where I loosened the four screws on the side of the original stock battery and I was just using the uh, mini Phillips. Here's the new battery. Always get Dell original guys. Don't get the aftermarket batteries for these computers. You want to make sure that the volts and ohms is the, the volts and amps is the exact amount that it's supposed to get. So now I'm just using my micro attachment tool and I'm very very lightly just running over all the interior components of the computer now when you get to the fan very very important to remember use your pick tool to hold the fan in place it's okay to move the fan a little bit with the bristles of the micro attachment for the vacuum but you don't want to move it significantly because that motor is very delicate in the fan so friction in the opposite way or even spinning it the right way too much when the computer's not on can damage the mechanism within the motor so you want to be very very careful always use the pick tool and then plus while you have the pick tool holding the fan blades kind of in place it gives you a little bit more leverage to maybe just push down slightly and move the bristles of the micro attachment in a way that they catch the dust molecules and particles that are really really like caked in in between those fan blades because you have to remember, the air passage in this computer is pretty limited, so it's only the smallest of like micro particles that are going to get into the computer, so it's like you need a micro attachment to do it properly. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking off the micro attachment, just running the micro funnel over it just to get all that debris, all that dust. It's kind of hard to see, but there were there were couple little big clumps of, of dust that kind of built up in there and of course I mean that's gonna affect cooling of the computer now I know what um, you know a lot of computer guys will tell you that oh well it's not gonna affect it significantly but I mean every little bit counts right so I mean the more airflow the cooler the interior components can actually run and the longer the computer will last so we're going to take our uh, new battery out now. Let's 
checking it out. Always get the genuine guys, remember that. And then there's the model number for the battery. But I mean, uh, when you get Dell on the phone, they're very, very helpful. You can just literally tell them XPS 13 9370 and they'll know exactly which battery to give you. So as you can see, I kind of slided in the port, power port for the battery. So there wouldn't be too much bending and leveraging of the, of the cable. You know, it helps. Every little bit helps, right? I mean, we got this computer open. We're going to do it right. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, I think earlier in the video. So this is the uh, 50 millimeter. And then um, you can actually use the same screwdriver for the smaller ones. But I mean... The mini, the mini Phillips does does good. So I mean, let's go with with what gives it a good grip. We don't want to, we don't want to scrape off the the Phillips rivets and those screws. Remember, just light turns. Once you feel it tightening, don't have to over tighten it. with these screws guys like they're very very small it's good to have a nice um, magnetized uh, mini Phillips I mean it lets you hold the screws a little bit better lets you have better leverage now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my mini screwdriver and I'm just gonna very slightly tighten all the Phillips head screws that I can see just ever so slightly just to give the computer a little bit you know more firmer feel and um, very important to do the Phillips around the hinges so I'm just double checking everything right now just keeps the computer solid and not feeling slip flimsy at the at the hinges the hinges is very important as you can see just be very very careful not to over tighten as I mentioned before So I'm just checking now, just one push on each side with my pick tool just to ensure. Push the battery in, so now the battery is connected. It's always good to disconnect the battery first and reconnect the battery last. So we got the cover now, give it a nice run through with the micro attachment. Get all those dust molecules, particles out of there. We want a nice clean clean interior of this clean Dell. <laughs> Make sure you get those vents because that's where that's where everything's coming in and going out. Looks really really good. It might be hard to see but from what it was before definitely a lot cleaner. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to reattach the lower cover and we will push slightly on all areas of the computer to clip everything back in. You can see that clipped in very nicely. Front, front seems to clip in easier, yeah, oh yeah. Well, now that everything's all closed up, we're going to put our screws back in. You guys want to be very, very careful to get the right angle. As I said before, use a magnetized mini Phillips. And, um, you know, the magnetized tray really helps you keep track of everything. So you got your torque screwdriver. That's the T5 once again. Let's speed things up a little bit, man. Ain't nobody got time to wait for all the screws to go in. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. Clean. So let's just check to make sure that the battery is registering. Yep. Charging nicely. Now we're just going to 
just gonna go into the BIOS and check the health status of the battery. There's uh, four levels, uh, poor, good, fair, and excellent. Excellent means it's new. So that's my battery replacement video with interior cleaning on the Dell XPS 13 9370. It's a gorgeous computer. Love using this computer. Really, really easy to use, beautiful screen. Oh, 21 hours battery life. Come on, man. I know you guys saw that. Thanks for watching. If you guys found value, please like and subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day.